welcome back to our channel. Um, let's welcome ourselves back. <laughs> welcome back, guys. It's been a very long time. It hasn't. What has it been like? A year? I think it's been a little over a year, maybe. I feel like it has. It's been a really long time. Well, we're glad to see you guys back. We are. We're so happy to be back here. Um, you know, we've taken some time off just to kind of reset to ourselves. And um, let's just say a lot has been going on. Yeah. There is a lot that can happen in a year. Yeah. But today we're back with another Wine Talk video. Yes. So you guys know that we have been doing our Wine Talks with G&J. So now we're back with that. So I kind of wanted to discuss, since we have been gone, I wanted to discuss something that's kind of like, you know, close to our lives. The topic I have is what is holding you back from being the person that you want to be. And I think this is a really good topic, especially since we've been away for a while. I would like to start off by saying, me personally, I feel like, me personally, I feel like the main thing that's holding me back from being the person that I want to be is procrastination. Um, my whole life, I've always been a huge procrastinator. And yeah, so for me, I feel like it's procrastination. Yeah, same. I feel like I'm... I'm like the biggest procrastinator on the earth. Like, I will have all these great ideas and I'll say, like, okay, this is what I want to do, boom, boom. And then for some reason, years will go by and none of it has gotten done. So I definitely think that that's definitely one of the things that's holding me back from my full potential and being lazy. Yeah, same for me. It's definitely lazy. being lazy, especially with me having a three year old son and me working a full time job. Like, Sometimes I just don't have the energy or sometimes I might have the energy, but I'm just feeling lazy. I just want to, you know, lay around and not do nothing at all because I'm yeah. constantly doing stuff, but yeah. I'm not doing what I want to do. Right, right, right. And so lately I've just been feeling like instead of just letting my life go by and letting time pass me by, like I really need to get out of this habit of being lazy and this habit of procrastination so that I can, you know, do what it is that I truly want to do. Yeah, and I, I think, like, you have to kind of find your passion and find what you want to do, find your voice, find your purpose, and just kind of act on it. Exactly. Because I've seen a lot of people say, you know, oh, you may not feel like what you're currently doing or your job is what you want to do, but sometimes you have to work that job to kind of fund your, your passion and your purpose. Exactly. So... I think that's something that I'm definitely going to work on, um, procrastinating and not being lazy and actually doing things that I don't necessarily want to do. Also, getting yourself out of that comfort zone. Yeah. It's like, doing I, certain things can make you so uncomfortable. And I feel like that's the only way that we'll be able to, like, reach our goals is it's going to be, it's going to get uncomfortable at times, but the more we sit around, the more we remain stagnant, the more we keep telling ourselves like, oh, I don't feel like doing this, or oh, I'll get to it another day or at another time. That's more time being wasted rather than just getting up and doing it. Mm -hmm. Just being, just the action. Like, like you said, just, or I don't know if I said it or whatever, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But being laced, like you just Like really applying so, ourselves yeah, and, you know, so comfortable, just putting like, what we say into action, like you said, like we've got to get out of this whole oh we'll get to it and that's one of the main reasons why we've been gone for so long um from our channel and we've had a lot of people asking us oh when are you guys going to do another video when are you guys going to do another cover there are a lot of people out there that actually have enjoyed the stuff that we've done like have actually enjoyed our content and so we just wanted to come back and kind of get things rolling again yeah so we're definitely gonna make sure that we're here often um, we're going to be consistent, and I also think consistency is another thing, just not, like, saying, like, okay, we already put this out, so we can wait and do another one, like, I, like, no, we need to be consistent with our content, and just put out as much as we can, like, we were even thinking about starting a business, another business venture, which we'll let you guys know once that, you know, gets to where it has to go, but I think we I don't know. We have so many great ideas and so many plans. The main thing is we've got to get out of this procrastination. Yeah. Like, we've got to stop procrastinating. We've got to, like, really, like, apply ourselves because we have so much talent. We, like I said, we have all these great ideas, all this stuff that we want to do for you guys, and all the stuff that we want to do for ourselves. We're going to get to it. Yeah. we got to get to it. So, you know, y'all 
I should just hold this accountable. And, you know, definitely hit us up in our little comment section. Like, yeah, like hit us up like in our comment section and let us know, like, if you guys feel like there are some um, topics or some things that you would like to hear us talk about during our wine talks, comment below. Let us know, you know, throw some good ideas out there for us. And also as far as like our the covers that we've done in the past, don't yeah. forget to check those out. Yeah, it's definitely don't forget to like, subscribe and yeah. comment um, and let us know if there's anything that you'd like to hear us do soon yeah. so we can make something happen for you all. So another topic that I have for me and our wine talk, this is gonna be a nice little short one. We just kinda wanted to come back in, you know, get our refresh some door. things, yes. you know. Um but another one is if you could go back ten years, what would you tell yourself? That's a good question. If I could go back ten years from now I would tell myself to get up and go and really follow my dreams. Like to really do what it is that I love to do mm -hmm. and to be passionate about it. Yeah. What would you tell yourself? I would tell myself to be fearless. I feel like I am such a sheltered person. And sometimes like I like I'm so cautious about everything. And I do not want to take a walk on the wild side. But I think as I grew up, I realized that it's okay. So I think that's something that I would definitely tell myself. To like, just be fearless and to love yourself no matter what. Exactly. And know you to sh Those are some to things that, I, those are some things that I would tell myself to you, yeah. honestly. Like a lot of people might strike me as the outgoing type, but I'm actually really shy. Yeah. I can be really shy at times. Right. And I feel like I wish I could be more fearless. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I were more feel it fearless back then, <laughs> fearless, fearless. <laughs> if I if I were more fearless, I feel like I'd be in a different place. Yeah, right now. Same. I think you have to go for what you want. I think that's what's held the both of us back. So 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 not being afraid of the the unknown. pressure, mm -hmm. the anxiety, yeah, the afraid. adrenaline. Like, can I really do this? Like, yeah. I have to stop second guessing myself mm -hmm. like if I could go back 10 years from now that's another thing I would tell myself is to stop second guessing yourself because I know girl you got it girl you got it hey no but for real though yeah I agree um I think second guessing yourself would definitely get you like nowhere not very far yeah because you're far. always gonna stop yourself before you make that Thank you.